Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the PILS Automation Safety Training on the PILS PNAS Sigma line of safety relays. Our training today will be presented by one of our senior sales engineers, Phil Herrick. As a reminder, this is part two of a 15-part series of trainings we'll be presenting on safety standards as well as PILS products and services, and I hope you will plan on attending all of the full series of these trainings and that they'll prove to be valuable to you in learning more about machine safety and how PILS can help you achieve your overall machine safety goals. With that, I'll go ahead and hand it over to Phil and Phil can begin our presentation. Phil? Thank you very much, Ben. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'd like to also express my thanks to you for joining us for our training series. Our topic today is the brief overview for the PILS PNAS Sigma line of safety relays. This first slide, uh, I started with a timeline of the PIL safety relays. Uh, although our topic is the PNAS Sigma, shown here circled in red, uh, I wanted to include this uh, just to show that uh, we have continued to develop designs of safety relays from the first e-stop safety relay in 1987, and then all the way up through 2012 with stops along the way. Um, we moved to the right from 1987. Uh, by the way, we're not going to go through each one of these separately, but as you move from 1987, you'll see the PNAS Plus in 1997. The PNAS Plus, in many respects, is the precursor for the PNAS Multi Configurable Controller, and by extension, the Multi Mini and the Multi 2. The Multi is the first configurable controller to use function blocks for higher amounts of inputs and outputs. And uh, although it's about the Sigma line, uh, I wanted to show this timeline so that you'd be aware that PILS is always thinking ahead and have been developing over a span of decades to improve safety and performance. We've developed products that are easier to use and implement. They have smaller package sizes, and this is all based on customer input and needs. This is a great benefit for our customers because they can always be confident that PILS will be developing newer, safer safety products to keep their people and their machines as safe as possible. This slide shows a simple little graph and it shows where the Sigma relays fit within the PILS offering of relays from the PNAS Sigma on the lower left-hand corner, all the way up to and through the multi-line, and then all the way up to the top to the PSS 4000 safety PLC. Uh, if you look at the axes of the graph, as complexity and functions go up, we move from lower left to upper right on the graph. Sigma is a really great choice for applications that have one to three safety functions. Once you get to an application that has four or more functions, you can think about using any of the multi-line of configurable controllers. And once you get into a more complex application with 20 functions or more, there's the PSS 4000 safety PLC, and that can handle hundreds of functions. This is a benefit because no matter what your need may be, whether it's relatively not complex or more complex, PILS has an effective and efficient solution for both performance and economy. So a lot of information on this slide. It will start on the right-hand side where we see noted that the Sigma line has fewer types of relays from which to choose. This is because Sigma relays are more versatile and they can handle many different safety functions. Benefits include uh, being less different types to choose from, so it's easier to standardize and consolidate a, a single part to keep in your inventory to fill your needs. This also benefits the designer since with fewer relays to consider, there will be less design time needed. Sigma relays are slimmer and they take up less space in cabinets. And because they use jumper clips to connect from relay to 
expansion module, there's less interwiring between relays. This is a big time saver and it's a great benefit for customers and users. Spring loaded terminals also reduce wiring time, which is a further time saver. The way these relays are designed and built, they snap onto and off of DIN rails without needing to use a tool. And they also have transparent covers. These covers can be sealed to prevent manipulation and they also provide tamper evidence. There's LED lights on the front that make it quick and easy to diagnose faults and correct them. Again, it's a big time saver. And this is a recurring uh, benefit with all of the Sigma line. The rotary selector knob can be used to select operating modes and set application parameters. You can set, excuse me, you can set detection of cross shorts, automatic or manual reset, and timer functions on the signal relays. This slide shows an example of applications for and the flexibility of the Sigma family of relays. This is only an example. The relays shown here are not limited to these applications. We'll have a slide coming up a, a few slides from now to show more information about this. But in this in slide, <clears throat> an example, the S4 is shown being used for a safety gate. The S5 with a timer is used for an e-stop. Move down to the bottom right corner. The PNAS S6 is used for two-hand press control. Move over to the left. The PMD S10 is shown for electrical safety, monitors incoming three-phase power. The rotary selector knob on the front is used to set parameters on the front display. The S3 relay with the S7.1 and S7.2 safety contact expansion modules is shown use for a light curtain. And up at the top, the PNAS S30 safe speed monitor shown with the S22 safety contact expansion module is used for safe speed monitoring. This is just kind of a nice encapsulated view that whatever the need may be, there's a safety relay in the Sigma line for your application. This slide shows the many worldwide approvals for PILS Sigma relays. This is a really good benefit for customers that build or export machinery or for global companies that transfer assets between domestic and overseas plants. There's no need for a company to specify different relays depending on different locations because PILS Sigma safety relays are approved worldwide. Sigma safety relays are also available in coded versions. Coded versions are made for use in demanding conditions and environments, such as the tire industry, and they provide additional protection from temperature extremes, as well as condensation and corrosive atmospheres. There's an additional coating on the circuit boards that provides better durability, and the benefit for customers and end users is these relays last longer in tougher conditions and do not need to be frequently replaced. The Sigma relays that are available in coded versions are the PNAS S4, S5, S7, and S9. This is the uh, slide I referred to uh, back in my, the, my example slide this shows a useful chart that details different applications for different sigma relays the number and types of contacts they have and the size of the relay if you think back to the applications example on slide five the relays shown in that example can also be used for other safety functions sigma relays are versatile relays that example on slide five showed the s4 relay used for a safety gate but you can see on this chart, it can also be used for e-stops and light curtains. The versatility of the Sigma relays is a great benefit for OEMs and end users. 
I want to take just a moment to uh, note the S6 and the S6.1 Sigma relays for two-hand press controls. The S6 has a higher performance level than the S6.1. So to properly specify this, you'll need to know what your required performance level is. The next few slides that we see will be dealing with the PNAS S30 Safe Speed Monitor Relay. Uh, this slide also shows the S22 Safety Contact Expansion Module. And uh, on the left-hand side, you can see that uh, they're gonna be connected with the jumper clip I've referred to previously. In addition to monitoring for safe speed, the S30 can also be used to monitor for zero speed and also for directional rotation. You can use the rotary selector knob on the front to set the application parameters, which are viewable on the display on the front of the unit to get exactly what your application needs. This slide shows a little bit better view of the S22. S22 is a safety contact expansion module for use only with the PNAS S30 safe speed monitor. This is to control two relay functions separately. Benefit for you is that you can use this with the S30 instead of having to buy another S30. And you can also see in the uh, lower uh, photo, again, it's being connected to the S30 safe speed monitor relay by using a jumper clip. This slide shows a little bit better view of the S30. The S30 can be used in a wider range of different power supply voltages as inputs for encoders and the S30 will also provide up to performance level E or safety integrity level three. Again, this is a very versatile relay, suitable to be used in many different applications. The three icons shown from top to bottom uh, is for the first one, top one shows zero speed, the middle one shows safe speed parameter, and the bottom one shows direction of rotation. This slide shows some of the main benefits of the new S30 functionality. You get greater productivity by reducing or eliminating downtime. There's also less time needed for cabling because of the and or logic built into the unit. The rotary selector knob is used to set application parameters. For an uncomplicated application with one or two parameters, it's probably best to use the rotary selector knob and display on the front of the S30. For more complicated applications with a lot of different settings and parameters, you can use the PNAS Sigma configurator. Application parameters on the S30 can be set for the S30 directly from a laptop using the PNAS Sigma configurator. It's much easier to see using the configurator on a laptop screen. So again, if you only have one or two uh, parameters, probably best to go ahead and use the uh, rotary knob and the uh, display on the front of the unit. But if you have a lot of different parameters uh, to, uh, to set, uh, easier to use the Sigma configurator. This is a screenshot of the PNAS Sigma configurator. Uh, I understand that for purposes of this presentation, it's a little bit of an eye test, but if you're using this on your laptop connected directly to the S30 uh, so that you can uh, set your parameters, uh, it's much easier to see and allows faster parameter setting on the S30. Faster and easier, those are always two nice benefits for OEMs and for end users.
This slide shows the S50 vertical axis brake control relay. S50 controls the brake by detecting movement and keeps the load from dropping due to gravity. The benefit here is obvious, but I'll go ahead and say it anyways. It protects people and equipment from uh, being harmed or damaged uh, by a, a heavy dropping load. It has some of the same features as the S30. It has the rotary selector knob on the front to set parameters and the display on the front can be used to set the parameters and check diagnostic messages. S50 will provide up to performance level E or safety integrity level three and can be used for all holding brakes on the market. It reduces wear on the brake by slow shutdown. And a good way to think about this is if you think about driving your car and you see something uh, further up ahead of you uh, and you can uh, slowly and gently apply, apply your brake to come to a safe stop, there's less wear on your brakes if, by, by, doing, by applying them that way. Same thing with the uh, holding brake on the uh, vertical axis. If you can do slow shutdown, there will be less wear and tear on the brake system. Benefits here are, since it's good for all holding brakes on the market, even if you have different holding brakes in your facility, you can use one safety relay, the PNAS S50. So you only have to have one relay for use on all of your holding brakes, no matter what kind you have. And it also reduces maintenance on the brakes by reducing wear using the slow shutdown principle. The PNAS S60 safe voltage monitor. This is used to monitor single phase or three phase power supplies with no voltage applied with neutral conductor. The S60 voltage monitoring relay prevents the safety contacts from closing until it's guaranteed that the plant has no voltage applied. As soon as hazardous energy is detected, the safety contacts are opened, which prevents exposure to the hazardous energy. PILS uses these in safety lockout system panel applications, and the SLS panels will be the topic of an upcoming training session. Ben mentioned that we have a whole series. SLS panels are one topic in that series. Please make sure to register and attend that session to get more information. As I said, it's a brief overview of the PNAS Sigma line of safety relays. That's all I have for you today, and I'd like to hand it back to Ben Harper at this time. Great. Thanks, Phil. We certainly appreciate that. Well done. Uh, it's a lot of information. I hope everybody was able to absorb. Um, we will wrap up now, but uh, just as a reminder, like Phil said, this is part of a series of trainings that we have going on right now. So I certainly hope everybody will join those trainings as well. If you'd like more information on our PNAS Sigma line or any other pills items, uh, please feel free to reach out to your local sales engineer or to our inside sales team if you're not sure who that is and they can be reached at inside sales at pillsusa.com. Uh, if you'd like to share this presentation with any coworkers or peers, please feel free to do so. It will be uploaded onto YouTube to the Pills Safety channel, uh, and we will uh, can send out a link uh, to everyone for that as well. So with that, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Uh, stay safe.